Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Code with Sunny and today I am going to discuss the problem Minimum operations to make array equal Index number is 1551 and the problem is of medium type of lead code Okay, so before moving further I wanted to make clear to you all guys that this problem I don't I don't think that this problem should be categorized into as medium type because once you understand what is happening here in this question the very very simple logic that is uh, actually implemented here if you are going to understand this then it will be like uh, very much simpler to you to analyze this problem and find out the best solution for this problem okay so let's for now let's read out the question first we have been given an array of length n where every element of the array is like uh, a start with a zero based indexing i an array of i should be written as twice of i plus one okay for all valid values of i in one operation we can select two indices x and y and uh, it would be like uh, x should be greater than 0 and y should be less than n um, subtract and subtract 1 from the array of x and add 1 to the array of y that is perform this operation ok the goal is to make all the elements of the array equal now it is guaranteed that the all elements of the array can be made equal using some sort of operations given an integer n find the length and the length of the array find the minimum number of operations needed to make all the elements of the array equal ok so now the problem is very much clear we have been given the array actually we have been given the length we can build up the array like this and we need to find the minimum number of operations to make all the elements of the array equal okay so let's uh, move further to look out the constraints n is going to vary up to at most 10 power 4 okay let's move to the example to find out what should be the best solution for this problem okay you can see i have taken over here the two examples where in the first example n is going to be odd and second example n is going to be even now you can see array of i is basically like twice of i ok so I am going to write it clearly twice of i plus 1 so if you fill up the array if you find out the array it would be like this one and this one ok here for n is actually 6 and here n is actually 5 ok ok so now what is the main logic that should be uh, you can say interpreted to find out this and so you can see uh, the what should be the like uh, median of this array uh, basically I want to calculate if n is going to be odd I am going to just make all the elements uh, coincide to this middle element you can see uh, basically we, we want to make the all the elements of the array equal and we are basically finding out the median what should be the median of this array you can see if the array is going to be like sorted order the median of array is going to be at 5 so my base my basic approach should be uh, just make all the elements just coincide to this median value ok and how we are going to do that and why should this approach is optimal you can see uh, basically I need to do this operation array of x uh, should be like uh, subtracted by 1 and array of y should be incremented by 1 now you can see uh, these two elements are like symmetric about median if you t pick up 5 and the difference between 5 and 1 is exactly 4 and the difference between 5 and 9 is exactly 4 that is 1 is less than 5 uh, less than uh, by amount 4 to the left of it and 1 is more than by amount 4 to the right of it this gives me the idea why not to find the median so that we can have an optimal approach we need to dec decrement by 1 and we need to increment by 1 to any of the elements okay at one time in one cost operation okay so I am just incrementing 1 to 2 and 9 to 8 and I am going to do that until and unless when the elements coincide to this 5 ok and you can also see in one operation I can just uh, increment 1 to 2 and decrement 9 to 8 and in uh, again operation I can just increment 2 which is my new element to 3 and 8 to 7 ok these are the two operations again you can see uh, I have the elements of the array like uh, you can see uh, 3 and again 3 and the here it is 5 and here it would be like uh, 7 and here it would be like uh, again because I am finally at 7 I have applied 2 operation 7 now you can see again these two are elements exactly at the same difference about the median and uh, to the right of it has the same difference that is if you subtract 2 from 5 it is coming out to be 3 and if you add 2 to 5 it will go out to 7 it means the elements are going to be about symmetric about the median ok so just uh, subtract 2 times more that is 7 to 5 in one operation and corresponding to that 3 should be incremented to 5 also so this will give us the 
optimal approach that is start start making all the elements just coincide to the median okay now the, uh, one more uh, idea that i should want to give to you is that uh, you can easily see uh, this is basically the arith arithmetic progression you can see the difference is coming out to be 2 3 5 has also the difference 2 and 5 7 has also the difference 2 and you can easily see if you find out the sum of first n terms of this arithmetic progression it will come out to be n square sum of first one terms 1 sum of first uh, two terms you can see 1 plus 3 is actually 2 square 4 and sum of first three terms 1 plus 3 plus 5 it, which is actually 3 square 9 and which is uh, sum of first four terms which is com coming out to be 16 let us check it out 1 plus 3 4 plus 5 9 9 7 16 yes it is valid so this is this will give us the O of one time approach okay that is why I am trying to fetch the elements of the array fetch the sum using uh, this formula n square now one thing i need to mention also in case of n is going to be out to be even you can also see when n is going out to be even uh, i can concentrate all the elements to the median what is the median here that is the you can also see the average value of these two 5 and 7 what is the average value of this 5 and 7 it which should be 6 so in case of when n is going to be even i need to concentrate all the elements to 6 that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 should be first concentrated to 5, 5, 5 and uh, remaining would be like 7, 7, 7 and by I need to concentrate it to 6. So just to add these 3 5s by amount equal to 3, so it would be like 6, 6, 6 and uh, correspondingly in one operation these also be, these 3 elements also be decremented by 6, decremented to 6, it should be like 6, 6, 6, okay. So, this is the basic approach for n equal to odd and for n equal to even. So, how we are going to calculate this efficiently? So, I need to mention that also, okay. So, for the simplicity of the code, okay. So, let us head over to the uh, analyzing how we are going to approach this problem inefficiently, okay. So, let us find out what should be the, uh, if n is going to be odd, if n is going to be odd, let us find out the middle value, middle value is which is actually 5. So, I am going to find what is the first two, uh, n by 2 terms of this one which is coming out to be 4 ok and but I need the value that I need the value should be like 5, 5. So, what I am going to do is just find out the middle element and find out the sum that is ok. So, I am going to write the required sum, required sum would be like uh, 5 which I need the value should be equal to all the elements of the array should be equal to 5, 5, 5, 5. So, I need the required sum as 5 into number of terms that are going to be left of it, okay. So, 5 into you can see there are two terms. So, I, I am going to write 5 into 2 minus what this is the actually, okay. So, this is the required sum and what is the current sum? Uh, you can see uh, my current sum is nothing but n square first two terms which is coming out to be 4. You can easily see this is coming out to be 10 and this is coming out to be 4 and uh, the difference of this should be our answer because in one operation I can increment some value of the array and, and correspondingly I am going to decrement the some other value of the array. Okay. So, if I am going to increment 1 to 2 correspondingly 9 will always be decremented to 9 to 8. Okay. And in this case also I am just going to find out first the sum of first 3 terms which is coming out to be 9 square and then I am going to just to uh, I need to just increment the answers and what is the my required sum my required sum would be like 6 which should be the median into number of elements to the left of it uh, which is which is coming out to be 3 18 ok and I, I need to find like uh, 6 into 3 is 18 and I, uh, I need to have subtract to the my actual sum that is current sum 6 into 3 is 18 and uh, my 9 is my current sum and I need to do 9 operations to make all the elements of the array equal ok. So, let us head over to the code to find out the best implementation that is O of 1 space and 100 percent runtime beats solution to this problem ok. So, let us move further ok. I have already written over the code ok. So, why not I am going to just I have already submitted some code ok. So, let us ok. So, here is accepted code ok. So, you can see all the test cases are passed runtime is 0 ms per second and runtime beats is 100 percent of CPP submissions ok. So, what basically done is if n is going to be odd 
find out the number of terms terms and what is the sum of first n terms you can see current sum equal terms square and the required sum is find which is the median into the number of terms to the left of it okay and my answer if n is odd is required sum minus current sum and what about when n is going to be even find out the number of terms first then current sum which is terms into terms and the value terms that is i am going to find the median twice of terms minus 1 if you are going to calculate this it is go, it is it will coming out to be same okay note that difference is going to be 1 difference is going to be adjacent difference will always be 2 that's why i have, I have incremented 1 it should be like uh, when i am coming out to at 5 i need to find the median which is coming out to be 6 that's why i have done 5 plus 1 which is coming out to be 6 okay and my required sum is uh, value into terms and what should what should be my answer minimum number of operations required sum minus current sum and finally return the answer okay so here also i have the code i can submit that okay okay you can see faster than 100 percent of cpp online submission so if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.